The next topic we'll be covering are the core components. Let's dive into each one and understand their significance. Pipelines, think of these as the assembly lines of your data factory. A pipeline is a logical grouping of activities that performs a unit of work. It orchestrates and automates the flow of data. Activities, these are the specific tasks within a pipeline. An activity is essentially a processing step in a pipeline. The action items are the work stages in your pipeline. Data sets, these represent the data structures or the blueprints within the data store. Linked services, they define the connection information necessary for data factory to access external resources, like your data sources. Data flows, data flows define how data moves through a pipeline or undergoes transformation, offering a visual representation of data's journey and manipulations. Integration runtimes, this is the engine under the hood. The integration runtimes are the compute infrastructure used by Azure Data Factory to facilitate the data movements and compute processes. Control flow, the control flow orchestrates the sequence of activities in a pipeline. It determines how activities are chained, ordered, or branched, ensuring the systematic flow and processing of data. In a nutshell, these seven components are the backbone of Azure Data Factory. They work harmoniously, ensuring your data is efficiently moved, transformed, and processed.